Welcome back, Cisiano. Remember, it's mixed from the mixed creation. For the new and old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Uh, I was just asked a question about uh, the latest updates regarding to what we call the jobs and the opportunities around uh, in Qatar right now. And my 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 straightforward answer to you is that uh, we are hearing people being laid off, or people being cut off from uh, their companies or people being losing their jobs from these companies. And uh, the, the kind of concern before was we are looking at normally, people are mainly focusing on what you call the three months and what you call the six months uh, contract, which was specifically for the higher visas. The higher visas, we are talking about what you call the FIFA World Cup job, but which is not the case right now, because the situation right now is taking all people within the labor force. Remember, some companies, I keep on saying, some companies had what you call an extra or had what you call extra labor force. So uh, the, the projection, you know, we have the projection, the projection of which they aren't expected to, uh, to, to turn on the business or to do to give the services. It is not what came out at one moment of time. So uh, you, you find that the situation that most of the companies had what you call the surplus and already people were already inside the country. So they needed to take off. Uh, remember, the six and three months contract uh, uh, employees were coming into the country in those companies. But remember, also those companies had what you call the old employees. So what are companies right now doing? Some companies are trying to lay off uh, some workers indirectly, if you may not know. Uh, so you must be kind of aware of uh, what is happening maybe in your, car, in your company and you can try to get this information such that you can also live and until we can try to be a little bit humble until the whole situation gets to normalize or when we get back to the normal uh, recruitment process or even when the bigger opportunities are there at one or the other and what does it mean? that you find that some companies that don't have that lost the contracts uh, because uh, most of them uh, uh, lost the contracts that means they had what we call excess employees and what do they have to do with the excess employees so some companies now are giving what we call forced vacations they give you forced vacations uh, which is even longer than what you expected you find some companies are giving five months are giving zero six months and uh, what does it mean to you in your brain or what does it what comes in your brain definitely the only thing that you need to know is that sometimes that can be what you call an indirect cut off you from the company and uh, that is exactly that what I mean because if a company is giving you uh, a vacation uh, that is of longer than five months what do you expect at that some and something that you need to to understand gradually when it comes to employment itself is that when you look at a new employee and an old employee for example let's say for example you've been living in Qatar or you've stayed in that company for four years or five years or even three years and you, you know you're entitled to uh, to end of gratitude bonus you're entitled to ban bonus after the end of your contract right and the amount of salary you are getting right now, let's say for example you're getting 1850 or 18, 1830, whatever kind of 2000, and this is a new employee that is coming in, he will be given out of an amount of money. So what does it mean? It means that the new employee being recruited or the new employee being put into the company is cheaper than new the old employee in the company. So when you look at the small mathematics and when you look at cost cutting benefit, cost cutting uh, as per the companies, then definitely they will say that you the old employee you better go and we get a new one that will accept whatever amount of money that we are giving and will accept to work for us because he is not so much. Uh, it does not prove to be uh, what we call. Uh, yet to the company and get you the old employee you need to get a service bonus you need to get what so you that means the company needs to spend a lot of money so that is what the companies are doing they're giving what you call forced vacations they're giving vacations which are even longer than the normal vacations were in one or the other that is one way it is showing you that there's excess labor force either in your company or they are trying to kind of see how they can try to reduce all that labor. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. So, guys, my humble advice, my humble request to you would be that 
Now let us try to be a little bit, a uh, little bit slow. Let us try to be a little bit keen. Let us try to be a little bit humble in this small situation. If you still need to work into that company, but otherwise it is still. Uh, it my advice. It is not going to mean that you need to keep quiet or you need to. To, to put your brain up, you better you sit down, but as meanwhile you are trying to prepare something for yourself at the end of it, all that is old, uh, goes all opens up and it opens up, then definitely it means that you'll have something that you can start on within yourself at one or the other. Hope I've tried to share something for you, and that is exactly for the person who asks, yes, they are giving what we call forced vacations, which are even longer than, and that is one way of cutting off the excess labor that the company has so that you can live within the minimum budget that it has at a given period. Thank you so much. Next one.